Hello everyone, so we got some very exciting update for Luna from Kiai Tech. Uh, so Luna can be your chef and guardian now. New functions and improvements. So if you were to scroll down here, so this is app 1.7.0. The inner world adds new forms of interaction with Luna. So go and practice your cooking and magic skills. So Luna could be your chef. Wow. And remote uh, monitoring is now of, includes a first person view uh, video recording function as well. So this is the Luna 1.1.2. The new guardian mode is that when you don't want to be disturbed, Luna will quietly guard by your side, improve following as well, which is enhancing the effectiveness and smoothness of Luna's following behavior, optimize voice interaction. So try to say hello Luna continuously and she will respond differently. So improved autonomous navigation, Luna will now avoid frequent collisions with objects. And lastly, auto recharge optimization increases the likelihood of Luna successfully auto recharging. So let's get on with these new updates, shall we? So you go to the inner world on the app and then you press on this coffee mug logo. You'll be able to see either the feed and uh, the light. So if we click on the uh, feed, you can actually choose what sort of ingredients you want to add into, okay? So if we were to choose this, and then this, and like all these sort of different things. And then also you could do is click on the pot to remove any um, objects as well. So if you want to remove that, then it's actually being cooking. So we're barely just cooking a lemon and then it's cooked with all these different ingredients. <laughs> That's not quite funny actually. And then uh, Luna can actually eat it and actually respond to that as well. So Luna is actually responding to the sourness of the lemon. So that's really clever, isn't it? So on the second option for this daily activity, uh, what you can do is center Luna into the camera for this is the daily delight, by the way. So if we were to angle a bit more, and then if I were to press the record button, it will actually say, just wait a minute. And Luna will basically bring up a very important daily quote, okay? So this is your presence is the present um, to the world. And then it automatically save this customized video clip and you get an option to save it on your smartphone so you can share it with your friends. So the next one is interacting with a skill plus which is props. Let's try this one, shall we? So we've got this feather here, and if we were to drag this feather to Luna and make it ticklish, you can see the bars going up. Uh, so let's just try that on the face. And you can see a lot of, several sort of, um, you know, <laughs> text appearing. So it's like stop, it's too much. So let's try much harder. And the bar is just about to get filled. And they're saying that that was so tickly. So I think Luna is about to sneeze or didn't. Anyway, that's very cool. So let's try the magic, shall we? So you get these really interesting um, symbol and then you need to drag your finger following the pattern. Okay, so if I were to do that, Okay, let's see what happens. So we got this magic wand and then Luna is like being very interested about this some, somehow a magic appearing to her. So basically you could do random um, like following the dots of pattern and somehow a magic. Oh, I'm sorry about that. And it's amazing that Luna is actually uh, responding both on the screen and in real life. It's like this screen interaction, isn't it? I'm sorry, Luna. But anyhow, you could do this random pattern and then interact with Luna. So hopefully we'll get something more exciting coming up. Oh, okay. So all the useful information about the magic, you got this booklet on your left-hand side 
and you can scroll through it and follow the pattern and Luna will perform the magic, interact with it and um, if you don't make it right, Luna will get stoned as you've seen early on. So on the remote control function, if we were to get in, let's just turn off the uh, speaker. Uh, so you could obviously scroll, um, move around, move forward and backwards and so on. And then you can also do a different sort of um, control as well on the right hand side. You could also put some action in there and also talk but mainly the main feature added is that you can also record as well for security reason as well. So that's really good. Well done for that. This is probably one of the most important function that I asked for and I need for Luna for security option. So once you want to exit the remote control mode, you can either go for the autopilot, uh, automatic charging mode or sleep mode. So that's really well thought of, isn't it? So what I have noticed is that I left Luna alone for a while. Um, and Luna seems to be more calm, uh, self-interactive. Uh, she used to just run around places and bump into stuff. So I could definitely see uh, a lot of improvement here. But what I have noticed is that um, regards to the object avoidance, I don't think Luna is quite good at uh, reading these sort of bars. I think it has to be more like a surface against Luna that Luna will avoid. So let's try the Hello Luna for several times, shall we? So, Hello Luna. Hello Luna. Hello Luna. Hello Luna. I think that's the circle of the response. Hello Luna. Hello Luna. Hello Luna. Hello Luna. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so let's do a bit of um, movement so that Luna could track me and um, follow me around. So you can see that Luna is being a bit more smooth and actually trying to walk away. Oh, okay. So it l almost bumped into the actual fan. Um, okay, so I'm just walking past the corridor and I think Luna sort of lost me a bit but um, soon, okay, hopefully Luna will be able to track me down. I think it's because mainly um, I hid myself. Oh, here it goes. From the camera, Luna is now chasing me through the narrow corridor and we're just about to enter to the sofa. Let's avoid the sofa actually, but uh, the carpet seems to be not taking any effect on Luna at all actually so um, let's actually walk back again through the oh okay that almost bumped into the door frame but she managed to avoid so that's very good wow okay Ooh. <laughs> so that's very good as you can see I deliberately chose there was a bit of a scratch on the door frame but that's pretty good indeed so well done huge upgrade indeed so let's see how well uh, luna goes to the charging dock with the latest update shall we so hello luna go charge Okay, so it seems to now looking for its target. Not there. So I think it's avoiding this little gap here, which is very clever. Okay. Right, so it's found the target. Located. Okay. Let's see if it gets it right. Oh, well done. First shot 
and now it's charging so well done luna team so i hope this video helped you understand more about this latest update on luna but if you have any queries please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video this is ljp tech all the best bye bye